So, Daddy, God is a good God, right? He is. And he doesn't cause people to sin, right? Right. So why would God harden Pharaoh's heart? Oh, that's a good question. You are correct that God is a good God, but God uses wicked people to accomplish his purpose. How? We must understand Pharaoh is not innocent. He enslaved the Israelites, he ordered the male babies to be killed, and he refused to let God's people go. So why does this God harden his heart? It seems like he was doing that all on his own. You're right. There's a sense where Pharaoh hardens his heart. But after the fifth plague, God starts to harden Pharaoh's heart because God is teaching us a valuable lesson about the depth of our sin. What do you mean? Think about it. Why does God need to send ten plagues? God does not need Pharaoh's permission to deliver Israel. Rather, God is giving Pharaoh the opportunity to humble himself and acknowledge his supremacy. Oh, but Pharaoh keeps refusing. Exactly. So God hardens Pharaoh's heart to teach us what happens if we continue to reject God's grace and mercy. Unfortunately, people will reject God until it's too late. And when that happens, they serve God's purpose as an object of wrath. But how is that fair? Oh, Autumn, the question is, how is it fair that God shows grace to us in the first place?